Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. This Sunday, I just got back from Austin. I leave for Nashville on Thursday. I have a live show. I'm gonna move this back. I have a live show this weekend, so we have a lot to do. And I move, I close and I move immediately when I get back from Nashville. I also have decided that I'm selling the townhouse. So now there's like a lot of things that need to happen with the townhouse before. Like honestly guys, a lot is happening. I'm also just like kind of like in my like sad girl like week. I don't know. It's like my PMDD week and I'm like really, really down. And I've been like crying about everything. And I'm like, what is going on? I'm just very overwhelmed. There's a lot going on and a lot of the stuff is really good so a lot to be grateful for i woke up this morning and i was like i need a juice and a coffee so i got a juice and i got a coffee and guys this juice is so bad like i don't know let me try it again like something is just off about the juice i've given it a lot of tries so we're done with that anyway so i have today monday tuesday and wednesday to pack i still have like things that I'm doing in between, like Revolve's coming tomorrow, so I'll go to that and you know, whatever. But this is a week in my life of packing and moving. Subscribe if y'all are new here. I just posted the video. Uh, oh, I'm texting my sister and son. I just posted the video saying I'm moving. And I'm getting so many nice comments from y'all and I'm just, I'm excited. I'm getting out of this weird mood. I'm going to U-Haul right now and I'm gonna pick up a bunch of moving boxes. My grandma's helping me move today and Tuesday. So I do have to help, and then I do have someone coming on Friday to pack up anything that I haven't packed. I am stressed, but we're gonna get started today. And I'm gonna feel better once I, you know, have some things moving, have some things packed up. Some new stuff has arrived for the house, so it's just getting a little bit crazy. First up, U-Haul. All right guys, trip number two to U-Haul to take all my boxes home. And I am like on the verge of tears. This guy at U-Haul, he was just so nice and was like so helpful and was like helping me pick out the boxes, telling me the best stuff to buy that was like cheaper than what they sell. And it was just like, so nice. Like, I can't even describe to you, like came and helped me move everything into my car. Like just like above and beyond nice. And just so like, you know, when you're around those people that and you're having like such a hard time and they have no idea. I just had like a really hard couple emotional days, okay? Just like one of those things, right? And when like a stranger is just so nice to you, like I literally was like, oh my God, I love this man. Like I need to bring him a cake or something. Like he's just so nice. This tape apparently for moving is the best tape and you don't have to have a roller because it just rips. The more you know, guys. I'm at NASCAR show Tuesday and Wednesday. All right, y'all. It is Sunday at around 5 p.m. I didn't really vlog that much. My grandma came over to help me move, an actual angel. I would have been having a panic attack uh, had she not come. She's gonna help on Tuesday as well. But we got the garage, it's all packed up. There's a few things that are just like trash or whatever. But the garage was like really what I was worried about because that's just like what had the most. We got the master bedroom closet packed up. And then we have, I mean like mainly the main floor because I'm hiring someone to pack up the kitchen on gone. But mainly like the main floor is packed at this point because it's not that much stuff. I'm about to pack like the half bath. Um, but the kitchen is getting packed when I'm not here. Everything besides like my main thing is the closet, like my master closet. I'll show you guys how serious, hold on one sec guys. When you walk in, I mean it looks crazy but it's packed like i know it's crazy i mean this is goodwill um this isn't closed a few things aren't closed just because they're not full but the rest we have like some stuff no kind the rest of everything is packed and ready to go and labeled on what room this in the middle again is goodwill so that's why it looks like it's a mess but um the rest is like pretty much good to go which is great i'm gonna sell these things or just like list them and be like pick up today or whatever i mean this is pretty much wiped clean my brother-in-law is a contractor thank god solved all my issues so i left all the stuff because he, he's gonna come and like fix up the house before we list so uh, anyways and then you come up here it is really a mess and i haven't even unpacked which is like so unlike me it's looking crazy. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna use that box and do the rest of the stuff here really quick. And then I need to do all the vases and everything. This is just like trash and stuff I need to go through. Um, I don't do well in, in mess. So like this week is gonna be interesting. I'm 
Okay, I just made more progress. I can't believe how much we got done today. I actually feel good about it. Now I need to unpack and then I need to put my laundry away so then I can like eventually start the process of moving like the closet and stuff. Okay, I'm kind of like on a roll but I also need to shower and wash my hair and then go through and do all of that and also I have to call to change over like the Wi-Fi, the electricity, like all that. So I mean I can't do that right now because it's Sunday, I don't think. So I'll do that tomorrow but I need to make a list of everything. I'm just... <sighs> I keep taking like deep breaths because I'm a little bit anxious. Um, but honestly, I, I declutter my house as you guys know like every other week and I'm already like still getting rid of so much stuff. I'm just so ready for it to be two weeks from now when I moved in and just in the new house. Like I will be so happy and to just be home for like two weeks straight, not have to travel, just be in my house. Like that sounds like a literal dream and we're getting there. It's only two weeks away. You know, because I'm moving this week doesn't mean we're not focusing on self-care, which to me a lot of the time is skincare. Um, I've been using Primally Pure, these new products, and they are like actually amazing. They, you know when you're using skincare and you just feel kind of like luxe, like luxurious, you know that the ingredients are like actually good for you. Primally Pure is 100% natural and toxin free and they have amazing products. I have some skincare that I'm gonna show y'all. Um, okay, so I have this everything spray, the heel and tone. Like the ingredients, for example, it's organic, says lavender hydrosol, distilled water, aloe vera juice, witch hazel, raw and filtered apple cider vinegar, magnesium oil. Like it's just so great. It feels like you're in a spa. Like it actually does. I put so much on, but that's just because it smells so good. So clearly with ingredients, you believe that fewer is better. They have this cleansing oil, which I obviously don't need to use right now, but it is so good. Everything just like glides off your skin and it leaves your skin feeling very hydrated. The products are formulated using real ingredients, certified organic, sourced from family owned farms whenever possible. A ton of body products that are all natural and made with good for you organic ingredients. And I personally love the skincare stuff. So anyways, this is the plumping serum. Anything that's plumping, like, please sign me up, you know? I also have this plumping mask, which I don't have time to do this morning, but I'm definitely going to be doing it like at night throughout just in general this move, but also just in general. Again, plumping. Like there's nothing that makes my skin, I feel like, feel and look better than when it's super, super plump. On the website, you guys can actually get a quiz and they will give you like the skin regimen that works best for you. So you can know which products are going to be the most helpful for your skin. I mean, this just feels so good. Y'all can shop their site with code Kinsey for 15% off. I also got this from there, but I mean, they have so many things. So it depends on your skincare needs, but I personally recommend the plumping serum, plumping mask, and the spray that I have. This is the everything spray. Another thing, I totally forgot to say this. I'm so picky when it comes to natural deodorants because I'm like, does this even work? Like, what are we talking about? This not only works, but it smells incredible. This is the Primally Pure deodorant and I have it in vanilla and citrus. Like I use this when I work out. Like, that's how good it is. So, I will have this linked below. Use code Kenzie for 15% off. Treat yourself. These ingredients are amazing. And I just feel so good, like, putting them on my skin. Guys, good morning. I'm picking Macy up. Oh, you have your eyes. <laughs> I mean, what are the chances? <laughs> good morning, sunshine. I woke up and my face is literally in pain. Good morning, sunshine. Good morning. <laughs> I'm not okay. <laughs> I'm not okay either. I need a perfect bar and I need Starbucks stat. I need like, this is our last week of not living closer to each other. Oh, but yeah. then you're gonna move where I was living and I'm gonna be mad. I thought about that today. Mm, I don't know about that yet. I might stay here. Maybe you should just stay. Maybe you think about nicer it. Ones over there. Cause if you think about it, like, why would you want to leave when I live so close? Yeah, exactly. You have to think like you that. You where I live. Yeah. Exactly. That's what I'm talking. You, you see, it's like when you put an idea in someone else's head and then they think it's theirs, you know. Um, so happy Monday, every guy, every guys, everybody. Another day of moving, but today revolves in town, so I revolve stuff. Yeah, same. I wish I had a plus one, Macy. I'm actually really sad about that. It's okay, I think revolve would like kick me out. No, I think that they would love you. Did your chomps bag get him yet, by the way? No, that, that was like my last thought no, before sweet. I went to bed last night. <laughs> Guys, I went to bed at like two. 
No, because I went to, I got in bed at like 11. There was the weirdest wind and like rain last night. And I kept thinking it was a dream. It really scared me. Yeah, the wind was horrible. Look at my tire. Do you think I can get to the tire shop with that? How, how far is it? It's like right there, but then I also have eight miles of gas. I have 4% right now. Yeah, yeah maybe. When are you we'll gonna see. do that? Whenever I can today. Yeah. Because <laughs> we're not okay. We'll have to see. <laughs> I woke up today, I was like, oh. I know. <laughs> hey guys, um, as you know. speaking on something really important. Right yeah, now. don't be a direct you home. I think you got it. I like kind of got straight, it, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, mom. You just go. Yep. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, this guy was the weirdo in front of me. Like, he was, okay, sorry. Oh, you're so nice. <laughs> Why is he staring? <laughs> Wait, actually? <laughs> Wait, it's like kind of scary. No, I know he was one. Of He's like glare. Wait, that was. I thought you were just being mean. No, no he was actually. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Okay. Um, if you ever want to think that Kenzie's not a good friend, think again because I obviously have a flat tire and I just thought that I was gonna have to deal with it later on my own. Like, you know, the independent person that I am. But then it was goes, stressing me out that you weren't because, guys, if you have a flat tire, you need to go get that taken care of like, like right ASAP away. because it'll make your other tires flat. Yeah. And then um, she was like, no go to that now and she followed me to the tire shop and now it's there so yeah it's just one of those things that you have to be I've had so many flat tires in my day because okay my first car I'm like gonna butcher this people are gonna be like that's like not true but my first car in Texas they were like high performance tire they were like a certain tire that basically does really bad with extreme weather changes yeah. so I kept having flats and I was like I swear to god to my parents I'm like I'm not hitting curbs I don't know what I'm doing like and McKinney had a lot of construction, so I was like, maybe that's it at the time. And then finally, after like two years, they were like, because you have like the worst tires from oh. Texas. Yeah, so anyways, I have a lot of experience with flat tires. And it's also, the worst. car drama is oh, the, the worst. worst. It gives, oh my god, it's the Wait, but worst. but there is one piece that adds to the drama. Oh no. I had nine miles of gas. Oh yeah. That's... And I'm like, oh, do you guys have gas here? I'm also low on gas. And he goes, no. Oh. I was like, mm, okay, so we'll deal with that later. You'll be fine though, because you- you'll Nine be miles is enough. Yeah, you'll be okay. Um, um, I was just really worried. People do not know how to drive on this street. No. It was a concerning coming over here because I was also having to drive slow. Oh, I'm so stressful. No, it's the worst feeling though. It's like so. Wait, yeah. I was supposed to go. No, you're right. You're right. Okay, good. I love being right. Just good sure. morning, Baltimore. Happy Monday. A workout that was leg day, the day that we didn't want. And, and really got our hearts up with the flat tire. So. Yeah, we decided to add some drama into the morning we and it's 10 a.m. So here we are. Um, rugs USA just reached out to me. Oh, that's true. To really send some cool. rugs to the new house. So I picked out some new rugs, was getting some emails done. I was gonna say, yeah. like, you're probably productive. Oh my gosh, where Stanley yeah. was in my car. Oh no. Ah! Are they gonna, do they say they can patch it or is it gonna be a new tire? They're gonna patch it. Do you think they'll check the air on all of them? Like, that's a given, right? I, I would I think so, but my, my people at Firestone, I honestly need to do a brand deal with Firestone because like, I'm the biggest Firestone lover ever. That was Firestone that I went to, right? Yeah, Bridgestone, yeah. Firestone. Um, but Firestone, like they've, I, there was one close to my house in LA and there was like, whatever, like I still go there in Dallas. Yeah. And I just trust those people with my life. No, like they're, truly, they're, they're just the best. He's like, I got you. Huh? Yeah, and I was like, oh my God, you just, you got rid of like 80% of my I anxiety like, I needed now. to hear that from someone yeah. if they had me. <laughs> My guy, I was like having a panic attack yesterday morning and I went to U-Haul and the guy was so nice. I was like, thank you so much. I was like tearing up. I was like, that was a nice no, I was, like, tears yeah, I, really, I was like, I like, please speak at my wedding. Like, I love you. I would also do a brand deal discount tire because they are really yeah, nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright guys, I'm back home and now that I have like majority of the house packed up, I mean I still have a lot of things, don't get me wrong. I'm gonna just do like small areas off and on throughout the day. So I'm gonna set a timer for 15 minutes and I'm gonna pack up the bathroom of the products that I'm not using like every single day or just like I'll go without for a week or whatever. I'm gonna leave out the stuff that I need but like most of it, honestly, I can, I can get, I can get done today. So here we go, setting a timer. Setting a timer helps me so much in cleaning but packing like, okay, 15 minutes. All those years ago that never fade away. I remember your face When you hit the ground I can recall the time and place On the midnight walk Through the old street 
Guys, today has really taken a turn. So I did more packing. Um, it's not that exciting to film, so I'm like, I'll, I'll film some things and then I'll just show you guys the progress that I've made, okay? But, <sighs> little anxiety talk, okay? Because I know this, I don't know, like I felt like so stupid, my, like I've been talking about this nonstop in the vlogs, um, which I don't want it to come off as like complaining or annoying, but I also feel like this, I don't know, it's like, I do feel like it's like relatable and people get it, but also at the same time, it's like, Kenzie, shut up, you're like getting a house and you're so young, you know? It's not really about the house though. Anyways, my anxiety the past couple of weeks, really the past like 10 days, has been so bad. Like, I will say I have PMDD and it's like my 10 days it seems at this point that it has gotten bad. Anyways, I've just been very overwhelmed and then I was on the phone with my dad just now and he was like, well, buying a house is like one of the top five stressors. So that would make sense. And then there's a lot of other personal stuff going on. There's a lot of work stuff. And whatever, so I was like literally crying on the phone. I'm like, I just can't do this. Like, I can't do it all. I'm so stressed. I don't know what to do. Blah, 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 whatever. Oh, guys, this is what's crazy. This I actually turned my day around because it is so funny. It is so iconic. So I texted Trey, my friend Trey, who sings the song Dick Down in Dallas, which is one of my favorite songs ever. And that's how we met because I was posting Dick Down in Dallas and they came on the podcast and then we just became friends and I love him. He's a really great guy. Anyways. He's like one of those people, like you know when you have those friends that you just like immediately click with and you're just like really tight and you can talk about anything? Like that's like Trey to me. So I texted him and I said, hi, are you home this weekend? Cause obviously he tours, so he's like never there. And he is. And I said, oh my God, great, I'm there. Let's, I'm like, me and all the girls are there and he knows my friends. And I said, um, also I have a show Friday if you wanna come. And then, Trey was like, obviously, he's like, I'm down, blah, 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 whatever, like, he's the nicest guy ever. And then I said, because I remembered that we literally end the live shows with Thick Down in Dallas every single time. And I said, fair warning, we end the songs, or the show with the song, you've been warned. And then he was like, I'll play it live if you want. And I'm like, <laughs> shut the fuck up. This is the craziest, like, funniest thing, because if you guys have been watching, like, the journey of us with that song that gets started like fall of 2021 when it was just the best couple of months ever and like that song we just listened to it all the time during that time so it's like i have such a positive association with that song and now he's closing a live show with dig down in dallas it's just very full circle it's honestly very funny um my life gets funnier by the day truly so anyways i'm now on my way to restoration hardware to get lunch with revolve i'm gonna come home and then i have to do a lot more moving stuff. I did get a lot of work done though that was stressing me out, so I feel good about that. <sighs> and then I have a Star Wars game with the Revolve tonight, so I have so much to be grateful for. I'm so excited, I'm gonna move, everything's gonna be good, it's all gonna be fine. Everything in my personal life is going to be fine. Everything is just going to work out. And now I'm in a better mood. So, anyways, love you guys so much. Um, if you're feeling overwhelmed and stressed out and just really anxious and you're in like this pit and this like spiral where it's like you get better and then it's worse and you get better and then it's worse and then it's just worse and worse and worse, I see you and I love you and I'm sorry, but I get it. I really do. Okay, what if I, <laughs> I can't even, okay. What if I told you that, no, I'm, I'm not pregnant. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. What if I told you that Trey, this is way better than being pregnant, that Trey Lewis is closing the national live show on Friday with Dick Down in Dallas. Stop. Yes. Stop. It's iconic, isn't it? And? No, he's closing the show for me. For At my know? live show, yes. <laughs> it gets funnier by the day, see? All right, guys, I'm back from lunch, and as you guys know, I've been feeling anxious, and now I'm just cured. I'm not really cured, okay? Okay, it's a joke. I just called, and I got um, my Wi-Fi being new to her, and apparently my realtor does this thing where it's like concierge, like this person, like, sets up all your utilities for you and it's only one call so i'm doing that whenever they call me back and then tomorrow is really like the big bulk of the moving like packing wise um some good things have happened some good things have happened and i'm just like so happy and it's nice out it is like so nice out it feels amazing i was listening to country music and i was just like you know what this is the life truly this is the life and i'm so excited for this weekend in Asheville. It's gonna be the best time ever. All right guys, update. I'm sorry that this is on my bed. I have nowhere else to put it, but I just packed mainly all my outfits for Nashville, so at least they'll be out of the way and they won't be packed. I am back to feeling overwhelmed. I think I'll feel a lot better after tomorrow, but it's also just like, I don't do well with clutter. 
So like having to do all this and my stuff being everywhere, like I don't know what it is, it just gives me like anxiety. So anyways, this is all good to go. I just filmed some like brand content that I need to get sent in. So I am going to um, edit that and send it in. And then uh, tonight I'm wearing like black revolve pants. And then I'll probably just put on my black booties and a black long sleeve and call it a day for my outfit for the stars game with revolve update on um the book that i'm reading which is the sequel to oh. things you never got over i actually am liking it more now it's still not amazing it's just it, they're long and like i don't know it's not amazing i'm at like 70 percent and i read like 30 percent last night and i was like okay it's getting better not amazing but better i'll give you guys my full review once i'm actually done i also need to put these clothes away i don't know Whew. Okay guys, I like really, for some reason, I'm just like really sad to be leaving the dogs, even if it's only for like two or three hours. I'm not even gonna stay for the full game, just because I need to get back and do some more work of, as editing this vlog, getting some stuff together, feeling grateful, feeling calm, feeling zen, okay? Anyways, this is my outfit, and guys, these pants, let me tell you something about these pants. They're must-have, I've worn them all day, and they're perfect to like dress up, dress down, they're really lightweight, like for spring and summer. I will be living in these. I'm wearing this black skims top, this leather jacket that's Revolve. I like left it in my trunk and it's such a nice leather jacket. I thought I lost it, but it was in my trunk. Thank God it was in my trunk, but now it's all messed up. Not much I can do. My boots are my favorite booties. These are from, shoot, I don't know guys, where are these from? I'll try to link them below and remember, but I have them in two different colors. If anyone remembers where these are from, I don't know, are they Ray? Because I love Ray shoes. I feel like they might be Revolve as well. I think that they are Ray. If not, they're probably Steve Madden. Chanel bag. Um, I air out to my hair today. Who is proud? And we're off. Don't mind the boxes, okay? Good morning, y'all. I'm doing my skincare. Um, I have my call with my medium at 8.30. I don't know how y'all feel, and I know they're are some people who like probably like I don't know how everyone gets offended and makes everything about themselves but I do know there are people who get offended when like Dom and I talk about this um so if that is you just like skip a couple minutes you know um but Dom and I found this medium through our friend in New York and she's in New Jersey and we do like zoom calls with her and this is like my third call but I will say like everything she says I mean like, there's like a few things that like haven't happened or whatever but like so much of what she says is so specific and so spot on and so right. Like even about like how I'm gonna meet this certain person that I've met recently, she's like weird, like very, very, very specific. Anyways, always like take it with a grain of salt. It's not like this is like my life, you know, that I'm like, whatever, but it is interesting. And I make these calls like six months in advance. I've been looking forward to it for so long. I'm gonna get ready. It's like 8 a.m. now. Um, and then I'm going to, uh, Go downstairs and take my Zoom call. Oh my god. Oh, I just store dashed Starbucks or post made it. I'm not proud. And then we're gonna get back to moving today, guys. I'm waking up in a better mood every day. And I feel like after today, so much of everything will be packed up. And I'm just gonna be like, look, we're almost done here. All right, y'all, a lot of progress has been made. We're finally done with the garage. Maga has arrived, everyone's favorite. Um, so now we're moving on to the closet, which is really something. Oh my God. But the good thing is like, these are just going to like wardrobe boxes. Oh my God. <sighs> so at least like getting the clothes won't be that bad. I feel like it's gonna take us like an hour.
right guys, we're, oh well, things have really blown all over. So all the plants are dead, obviously. I decided I am gonna take the raised beds in the pots. Um, and the movers will take those and just move them over. So I think we should at least get the dead plants out of them. Yeah, oh, we don't need to bring the trash bags so. up. Made a ton of progress today. However, my kitchen looks scary. I'm about to go, go upstairs. I'm gonna have to organize all this stuff. The tape, I'm out of it and this tape isn't working. Um, and the kitchen is getting packed while I'm gone. But pretty much everything else in the house is packed. So up here, um, okay again, like this tape I'm not using, I was just doing it to push it down. I will fix it. This is all done. I've got boxes everywhere guys like the closet is completely emptied out this is empty besides stuff we're gonna put in the car i mean all of it like crazy all today and then over here packed up more of my bedroom got rid of or i'm getting rid of some like trash and just whatever um and then yeah my bedroom is pretty much all backed up other than like clothes and some stuff i have i'm gonna put more of my bedding in there Tomorrow afternoon is like my last time to pack before I get home from Nashville and I close and then I move. But everything is like pretty much done. And I feel so much better. Um, I'm still just, I forget that moving is so stressful. I forget buying a house is so stressful. People need papers from me every other minute and they have for three weeks. And it's like, why don't we just ask for these papers up front? You know what I mean? They did and they, they don't get them. And then I'm like, no, I've given you this paper like 15 times. So anyways, you know, lots to be grateful for, really excited, just, you know, feeling better now that like all this is done. My grandma left a couple hours ago, then I was just getting some work done. Um, I'm wearing like the most like mid outfit ever because I have like no clothes and I don't feel good. So I like really want to wear leggings, even though like I'm not like a leggings girl. I never really wear leggings like out, like I wear them every day to work out, but whatever. Anyways. I guess that sounds, I like literally post some leggings every day. I mean it's like an outfit out. You know what I'm saying? Okay. This top is from Revolve. It's a short sleeve top. It's really cute. I will link it. Um, this jacket, I get so many questions about. And it is vintage Carhartt. And then I'm just wearing my New Balance sneakers. Jessica is on her way over. And then we're going to go to book club together. My Dallas book club that I host. That now has its own Geneva home. So... We have the Kinsales with Geneva Home, and we have the KE at Dallas Book Club Geneva Home. If y'all are in book club, you need to join because that's where, like, what we're reading, where we're meeting, like, all the details are. And then if you, like, want to make friends, talk about books, hang out, whatever, it's all in that home. So, anyways, going to that tonight. It's a reschedule, so I'm assuming it's, like, not going to be as, like, busy as the other book clubs are, which can be kind of fun. We have a quarter pounder with cheese. Ooh, good call. I normally fries, get a double-double. A fries and an... Oreo McFlurry. Okay, I'm feeling only because I just and ordered McAllister's. And a Diet Coke. <laughs> For the record, I would be eating McDonald's, but I didn't know we were coming here, and I ordered McAllister's. And I texted her five minutes before I left, and I said, can you please go to a drive I'm very hungry. <laughs> yeah, we're going to book club, but we're going to McDonald's first. Okay, I think I'm just gonna do, I don't know, because the chocolate shake sometimes is too rich. Yeah, I think you should do a McFlurry. But I don't want, like, I want, like, a drinking experience. Oh, yeah. So I'm thinking a strawberry shake. Oh, yeah. That's kind of well, crazy. Can't go wrong. I'm thinking that. And then just a little fry on the side. Yeah, that's great. I'll be eating for six. But you know what? No, that's, I would be. That's I, what we're here for. Well, I ordered McAllister's, and I ordered, like, double sides. And I ordered, like, all of these, you know? I'm really messed I've up. I've been eating since lunch. <sighs> I messed um, up. And I didn't eat a lot yesterday, because yesterday my work catered barbecue. Oh, you know that's my favorite food. For um, Black History Month, it was a black-owned business. Oh, yeah. No, wait, it's good. I know what you're talking about. Smokey John. Yeah. Oh, my God. I got to tell you guys, still in the second time in my life I've had barbecue. The brisket. Unbelievable. The mac and cheese. Yes. They made us banana pudding. Brisket is my favorite food. and I've I decided I, I'm i I'm a brisket stan. No, I, that is my favorite food group to me. Because if brisket is on any menu, you'll notice it from now on. You order I it. I order it. It doesn't matter what it is. Brisket. I, I will look through the menu to see if there's brisket at any restaurant, and then I eat it. That's all I ordered. Mm, it's delicious. I mean, it's as amazing. You, someone ordered eight filet fish to put in front of us. <laughs> I understand. Oh. oh, oh, sorry, Carol here. Hi, hi. Can I just get a medium strawberry milkshake? A medium fries. Quarter pounder. Quarter pounder with cheese. 
A quarter pounder with cheese. Medium fry. Medium fry. Medium Diet Coke. And a medium Diet Coke. And then Oreo McFlurry. And an Oreo McFlurry. That's it. That's it. Okay, thank you. Queen, thank you. We love you. Love her so much. She was like, she was so ready. great. Yeah, she like, was ready. normally yep, I feel yep, like it takes yep. a long time when you're yeah. drive through. Well, people, like, you like can't really it. hear. Yeah. Like, it's kind of loud, you know? Yeah. Um, should I update the vlog about my dating series? Uh, I mean, I, yeah, I, I'm actually loving that you're you bringing guys, this up. I have been like wanting to date for so long, but I haven't been putting out the proper energy. Um, and I just decided like this past week here. This would be a good podcast that was up for us to do in a couple months. Oh yeah, that's a great idea. I just decided this week or a couple weeks ago, like I was, I was going through like a seasonal depression. It was not a good time, but I kind of like just decided I was going to shift my energy. And when I tell you, I didn't, I didn't even update my hinge profile. The way that I went from getting five plus likes a week, I woke up the other day with 50. It's literally an energy thing. I swear to God, like I did nothing different. I was waking up. It was just, life was different and I just matched this guy and I'm going on my first date ever in my life on Friday. And it's just like been a, it's been a, a journey. It's but very exciting. But he did exciting. just message me and said, do you want me to pick you up? And I said, no, I'll meet you there because that's like a lot of FaceTime. That's like so nice of him though. That's a great time Really, yes. really nice. I just said, oh, it's okay. I'll meet you there, but thank you. So nice. Yeah, I just like, so it's nice. a lot of FaceTime if I like, I'm not into it and yeah. I'm not Well, and also safety wise, it's always best to not have them know where you live. Yeah, that's so true. Yeah. I didn't even think about so like that. you should always meet them, but like it is really nice that he asked. Yeah, it was nice. He seems very. Nice. Also in Texas, like if my guy, if I have like even lunch plans with a guy friend, uh -huh. and they don't offer to pick me up, that's like bizarre. You think that's weird? Yeah. No, it, it like is weird. You said my guy friends at home like would be at my house all the time, so I'm like, yeah, like you driving me, so I'm, yeah. I'm I'm always in the passenger seat. I'm a passenger princess with those boys. Yeah. Because as I should be, as we all should that's be. So true. Men that's are our so slaves. True. Like they. Oh. <laughs> Oh, wow, guys. They owe us, you guys. Yeah, I mean, they do owe us, that's for the sure. The way that we have to be. Like, I was just explaining to one of the guys at work. I'm like, okay, so I have to go get a blowout on Friday now, and I got oh my God. And he's like, for a date? I'm like, yeah, yeah. for a date. That's crazy. Thank you. you. Oh, sorry, thank you. Um, almost dropped your Alex card. No, thank God. I'm sorry. <laughs> that would have been phenomenal. Yeah. <laughs> to get it, I mean, to lose it at that. Any place though, it's worth it here. Yeah, that's actually Thank you. so good. You know what I like feel really strongly about? Like, okay. McDonald's is just good. Like, I don't care, like. I've, I had not had McDonald's for the, this is No, the but when you crave it, when you have it once a year, I had yeah. it like recently. Hi. Oh my God, this man is yeah. love my Okay, life. no cup holders. That's okay. Thank you. It's okay, I don't need a cup holder. Oh. I'm just a beverage queen. Perfect. Thank you. As we should Good be, thing everyone. our drive is like kind of long. I mean, it's not long, but what it's long for us. What time is the book about that? Seven. We're gonna be getting there like right on time. It's gonna take a second to find parking, but perfect. Thank you. Everyone must be asking for whatever. So, anyways, Jessica's going on a date. Oh yeah, I'll make sure to update everyone after. But yeah, um, next week's vlog. Yeah, like I just, I'm really excited, and I just have to tell you guys, like it's really an energy thing. And I would laugh at people's faces when they said that to me because I was like, no, just no one wants to date me. Like it's just not true. You know what's so crazy? Someone like, always wants to date you. You are such a like contradicting personality. Yeah, I know. Okay. Because like, like I, I. I Normalize changing your mind. No, 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 no. I don't mean. I don't mean like from the past. I mean in your current day. Because oh. you would have. You would have been like that about every other area of your life. No, and then like you're like that's so stupid. So that doesn't even make sense. True. But then you'd be like, and then I wake up and I have <laughs> crystals and this and this. <laughs> And I do my 5 a.m. meditation, but then that suddenly they say you need to shift your energy when it comes to dating, and you're like, that's so there. fucking stupid, like, no, whatever. Like, no, it's, it's like, what? Me, but now it is me. Yeah. And you know what? Like, it genuinely works. And I matched with some other cute guys that I've been talking to. Like, I'm just, you know, hey, you gotta keep your options keep open. my roster open. Honestly, the second that I, well, I mean, literally, look at me. The second that I changed my mind to yeah. be open to dating, there was like five guys in four days. Right. And like, it was yeah, crazy. that's how it should be. It really is but just, people it is a be, mindset thing. People should be honored to take me on a date so true that's the mindset you guys everyone needs to have yeah you just have to be like you like unless you are a horrible person like you everyone deserves to be dated like yeah. everyone like if you're a good Absolutely. person like someone wants to date you like it's, i mean hey i was a lot of bad people have yeah partners. that's so true bad i've people dated have, bad yes. people i've dated great people too yeah I but, haven't, but i have dated bad people and you know what? If they can get a date, so can you. That's so true. Amen. Like, Amen. It's just anyone can Think about it. the worst ex-boyfriend you've ever had and just think about how that you dated him. Yeah, and then or think, think about, about your, the fact... What of your friend's worst boyfriends? Like, the worst guy your friend dated and you're like, yeah, you can and get he around. Can, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Say less to me. Like, okay, if you guys, can do it, I can. No, exactly. Okay, I have to turn this off because I'm going to run a battery. Bye. Go, like, hate against that man and think of, like, all the things that... Guys. Good morning. It is Wednesday. It's my last day 
at home before national and the move so pretty much everything is packed i have a few things that i need to like go through um but today well i'm got my workout it's 8 a.m and guys look at this well you can't even tell it's really dark it's thunderstorming i feel so bad because oh, it just feels really like weird and gross out so i'm going to weight lift and then i'm getting coffee with a friend going home and the dogs are getting baths i'm getting a massage and then this afternoon will be all of the last minute packing i need to edit this vlog and send it in and just all the like last minute trip stuff um but i'm really excited like i'm so excited for the show i'm excited to just get the move over with like it's just moving I i've moved so many times in my life too like even growing up we moved like almost twice every year because both my parents were moving and it was just like i moved all the not every year but actually like i moved i lived in 17 houses in my childhood guys isn't that crazy anyways so i just like hate moving it is so loud okay i don't have energy i need to drink my coffee and go work out and then hopefully that will help me and then i'm gonna get matcha after i already know i need to oh Guys, time for the dog's baths and my massage. Went and got matcha with a friend, got home, showered. We're doing a nice little massage before the weekend in the middle of the move. Fitz and Coco are getting baths. Fitz is having a very stressful time with the move. He's not loving it. Coco's easy as always. Coco's also moved seven times, I think. So it's Fitz's first move. He's so confused about the boxes. He is stressed and he's very clingy and he keeps putting his paws on me. So he's gonna get a nice bath and we're gonna relax today before he goes to his dog sitters, which he loves his dog sitter more than me, actually. Like he's obsessed with her. So anyways, love you guys. I'm kidding, we're besties, but he really does love his dog sitter. So anyways, oh, oh my God, guys, we're like so close, so close. I just called the boys, they're in Nashville already and they're picking up from the airport tomorrow. And I'm just so excited. I'm home retaping all my boxes. I put clear on top of that. I know I wasn't supposed to use that. It's what I had to do for the time being. Oh, I'm based on with Dom. Hey guys, look at this. This really sweet girl, Audrey, brought me a card and this mug from Fort Worth. Like how sweet, right? So anyways, I have to unpack all that, get everything together. And then, oh. I need to tan. Marissa replied to my story and said, I'm really worried about you. I've never seen you not tan. <gasps> She's right. She's right. She right. sees that I'm falling apart with this move. But actually, I'm scheduled to tan today on my Google calendar. So don't even worry about it, guys. So I have this. I'm eating candy this week. Very up character. And everything is ready. There's a thing about running into any sort of ex, and trust me, I have this down to a T because I do it do. all the time. You immediately go up to them, keep it short and sweet, say, yeah. hi, how are you? Whatever, nice, leave, you're good. Make it not weird, short and sweet, so they're like, oh, fuck, or like, you know what I mean, afterwards.